Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. As you can probably see behind me, there's a, or there are, Ghostbusters items. I was going to go through my Ghostbuster collection, um, some things that I've saved since childhood, some new things to, similar to the Batman video on this channel, to try to get things that I always wanted in childhood. And then, there is a a uh, box with some items, including a mystery item. So, uh, this box is for the 35th anniversary of Ghostbusters. All my movies are turning into their 30s. All my movies from childhood, so... Makes you feel old. But anyway, uh, we'll go through these items, we'll open this box, and uh, show you what's... I was gonna say in store, but I use that for store-related videos, so I'll show you what's uh, here. Alright, so, first, I mean, I guess, you know what, you gotta go with the Ecto first, actually. Um, so this was from when the real Ghostbusters, the cartoon, had, uh, an Ecto toy available, I believe in the late 80s. So they had the Ghostbuster logo on the door that actually opened, and there was like a steering wheel and everything in here so the Ghostbusters could actually fit inside the car. You had Egon. I had two Egon toys. He was my favorite character uh, in the series. So uh, I liked him in the mov movie. And then this is, of course, based on the real Ghostbusters, the blonde Egon. So he's supposed to sit here. They, they actually had, like, packs. I'll show a picture. They had packs with their, uh, whatever those are called, the proton packs. It took me a second. Um, that came with these that would kind of like spin around that has been lost over time but uh you kind of sit in this this chair overhead including with the nice little seat belt there and then i had this almost like space looking one have you gone and he's like getting attacked see how his hair goes up by a monster in his suit or an alien i guess this is i think i'm guessing this is a space themed egon so they had these, they had a lot of kind of these like pop-up sort of things. I'll show that in another thing. And then you had the back door of the Ecto. And that would open up for the ambulance. Oh god. Oh man. Okay, let's not break this. So anyway, that was there. It's being a little feisty. This toy is pretty old at this point in time. Um, but I kept this all these years. Another door for the Ghostbusters to go in. So, uh, you know, I had to get that. That's a classic. And then part of the real Ghostbusters too was the monsters would pop up and do like scary things. So one example there. And then I got this more recently. This was in my Winchester Mystery House video, but this is the, um, what's it called? PKE meter. And it was a mini one that was available. So it actually works. See if there any. See if it detects the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man here. Mm. Not really, but anyway, it's kind of a funny little, little version of it that um, they had available. And then this is, of course, the classic Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. He's gotten a little dirty over the years, but um, this was from again the Ghostbusters series. They have the year. Yeah, nineteen. Wow, nineteen eighty four. It's from Columbia Pictures. So this is actually probably based on the movie um, more than the animated series. But um, you have to have that. I mean, no collection is complete without the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. And then this I got, of course I had to, you know, Funko comes through with all the childhood dreams of things I never had. And that was for Funko Town, they had the firehouse. So they have this, uh, the uh, Bill Murray character. Um, he was, he was Vankman, right? Yes, Vankman. Wow. I know. True fans out there are like, you should know that. And I should. <laughs> but uh, here he is with the um, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man splatter all over him. There's his proton pack. Uh, luckily it included Vankman on his, his name tag there. And then this was what I really wanted, the firehouse. I mean, these two came together, but uh, the Ghostbusters firehouse. It's iconic. The classic little bit of slime or slime on the side. Uh, and I'll show a clip, or I'll show a picture real quick of what I always wanted as a kid, but 
never had, didn't get, which was the Firehouse toy. Uh, so here it is from the 80s. I always wanted this. Um, the Firehouse that all the real Ghostbusters toys could fit in. Uh, and then here's a shot of the inside. There's that Stay Puft Marshmallow Man I have and the Ecto I have and the pole and everything. And I just thought this was the coolest thing. Uh, so this was the closest thing to it that's available now um, in a little more detail, at least on the outside. Of course, there's no inside like the toy had, but uh, had to get that too. So there are those things. And then, of course, this is a more recent thing. I didn't have any Slimer items in the past, but I feel like this was pretty relatable. Just Slimer wanting to eat all the food like in the, the movie, which again is very... Uh, very relatable in general, so I think that's why everyone loves Slimer. So I thought that was a pretty good one. They actually have some of these figures, and I'll show that in a sec, because I'm going to take a trip to Target to see kind of more recent items that they have. Um, but anyway, this was one of those, and I, I liked how it looked, and you got all the, the details of the food there, so. Have to have a Slimer, too. All right, now on to the mystery box. Okay, so here is the... It's not a full mystery box. I mean, they tell you what's inside over here with the coasters and the air freshener, a vinyl figure of Slimer. So I'll get another Slimer, some socks, always a classic, and then a mystery item. So let's go ahead and open this and see what they have. I do like these boxes, even when you know what's in them. It's a nice little thing to pretend it's like a present. <laughs> Open that, get that out of the way. So let's see what is inside. Okay, so got a, this is a classic too. This gel is great, came free with it. Um, so first things first, here's the air freshener. So I'll try this out in my car in a little bit, but it's the Ecto speeding ahead. So we'll, we'll try that. <laughs> got it. Okay, we'll get to Slimer in a sec, the, the big item. And then there are these Ghostbuster socks, which is pretty cool, the Ghostbuster symbol, and you got the nice Slimer green to go with it, that's highlights. So, pretty nice, add that to the sock collection. And then, ah, okay, well, the mystery item is actually a Stay Puffed mini planter, and it is sealed, so let me get a pen. Let's see how this looks. There you go. Okay. So now it's upside down. <laughs> Let's look how the Stay Puff planter looks. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can put a nice little plant in there. I'm terrible with indoor plants. It will die for sure. So I'll probably just put like pens in here or something. But it's a, a Stay Puffed head glass. That's pretty cool. That was the mystery item. Um, and then, lastly, you have Slimer, uh, which is a huge, it's actually a very large figure. Let's go ahead and open this. Get past the seal. Ugh. Okay. So, here he is. Let's unbox that. Wow, this is pretty large. It's um, plastic. But I like the detail of this one. And look at just how earnest he looks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Ghostbusters uh, Slimer item. Add that to the shelf. Um, like I said, it's pretty large, so pretty cool overall. Okay, now we're doing handheld. <laughs> and forgot there was a coaster set. So we'll go ahead and open this and see what this the ghost coasters look like. It's really hard with one hand, but we're gonna Okay, so here you go with the coaster set. Pretty cool. They've got all four Ghostbusters, of course. You've got 
uh, Winston, um, Ray, Egon, and uh, Peter Venkman, which they always just call Venkman throughout the movie. So, pretty good. I mean, like, I feel like with these, let me let's put this down on the desk. I feel like with these, you could be like, if something spills and the moisture's bad. I feel like with these, it could be like, when you got a drink and it starts to spill, who are you going to call? Ghost Coasters! All right, we're going to head to Target in a sec, but um, first we'll put up this air freshener. It actually smells pretty good. It smells kind of like vanilla-y. So we'll put this... Uh, up on the mirror. Oh, there it goes. So this card is dusty. And uh, let's see if we can get it to face. There you go. Sorry, it's a little shadowy. But the, you know, you can put this up. When your car smells strange and not so good, what you gonna use? Air freshener. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so I drove to Target right now to see if they have any Ghostbusters items. Because um, I saw that they should have at least a couple pretty cool ones. I think there's like a like detailed figure slash um, the Ecto, a, a new one. So let's see if they have it. Here we go. Okay, so they have these very detailed Ghostbuster figures, it looks like. Like here is uh, Peter Venkman. So it's pretty cool, actually, with the different Ghostbusters on the side of the box, too. Um, so very, it's more, much more detailed than the Funko I have. Um, but it looks like the four Ghostbusters, and then Dana, and then uh, I guess the, the ghost that was part of Zool, I think. And then they have the foot from the creature that was part of Zool, too. Um, but yeah, pretty detailed. And then... This is a newer version of the Ecto, um, so similar to what I had from the 80s, but if we turn it around, you can see just a smidge more detailed here. Um, some of the seats pop out. There you go, the good old steering wheel like mine has. Uh, but pretty cool. $40, it looks like, for this. So there you go, and the license plate is actually part of it, whereas mine didn't really have that. <laughs> the, gotta have the Ecto-1 license plate. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And then here is uh, Dana, it looks like. And then you can piece together like the monster, it looks like, as part of Zool. You, like, you build the ghosts with the different figures that they have. Um, so they have Sigourney Weaver's character, and then they have Ray Stans, the Dan Aykroyd character, those goggles, his proton pack. And then this is what I had that... Like, this is what my Slimer character was that I showed on the shelf. So they have the different uh, characters here that are available. Um, looks like they have Slimer as a mystery, but they have uh, Denise, I believe was her name, the secretary. And then there's Ray again and Peter and Winston here. So kind of like, again, a little more detailed. These are the these are vinyls, it looks like. A little more detailed than the um, Funkos that I have. But... Uh, Pretty cool, nonetheless. No Slimer in this one. It's a good thing I bought that one earlier. Oh, then there's my favorite, Egon, in the back there. So, yeah, pretty pretty cool. They had these two. These, were, <laughs> these are cool. These, I just like these, the Masters of the Universe skulls right in front of it. Uh, and then, let's see if there's anything to the side. No, just more of the the branding of the uh the box there so yeah pretty cool so thanks for watching some pretty cool items overall uh please subscribe to this channel if you can i have videos like this going over interesting things items i guess uh and then i also do conversations uh with friends um sometimes travel vlogs which have minimized during covid but there's those too so there's a lot of kind of interesting things so if you found this video just looking for ghostbusters items understandable but if you could also check out the channel i think you should be should be entertained so please subscribe uh so i have this and then i have my comedy channel which quick plug for that too uh but anyway thanks for watching and i'll talk to you next time Bye bye